Hello! Uh, welcome back to the channel. This is my lovely friend Julia from Julia's Bookcase. She's, uh. <laughs> <laughs> She's on YouTube and she has a lovely bookstagram. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Maybe something on your face there if I can figure out how to edit that in. Uh, so Julia does book videos and a lot of book stuff and I do book stuff and we've been friends for too long so we were like, hey, <laughs> let's make a video together. <laughs> So, we have got a load of uh, characters in this book. They're from like comic books, uh, mangas, and book characters. And put them all in a hat. We're going to draw them out, and then we're going to decide which Harry Potter house they should be in. We're going to do the normal one, so like Slytherin, Hufflepuff, uh, Gryffindor. Mm -hmm. I forget one. Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Smart ones. Fake fan. We've got loads of options. Are you ready? Yeah. Do you want to go first? Okay. Have we got? Have we got? Finnick O'Dare from the Hunger Games. Wow, how would he be in? Mm, I feel like he'd be Ravenclaw. Really? I'd have said uh, Gryffindor. Because he's very yeah. much one to charge into danger. Do stuff. But he's so smart, like, he, um, doesn't he, like, have people's secrets and use them to blackmail people? Yeah, but I feel like that's just circumstances. Is that, is that what a true Ravenclaw would do? Be a smart Maybe that's what a Slytherin make, would do. <laughs> By the way, I'm Slytherin. Um, I don't have a Slytherin badge with me, unfortunately. You are, you are now Hufflepuff. I'm Hufflepuff. I used Slytherin. to be a Slytherin. Now we exiled her. And she <laughs> became one of the badger folk. I just do lovely. <laughs> Where'd you belong, man? I see him as a Ravenclaw. I see him as a Gryffindor. Yeah, we're well, we're gonna have to agree. We have to do fight. we have to agree? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> fine, we've disagreed. Batman! <laughs> <laughs> Dark Knight. I feel like he's one of us. Because he's, like, he's like killing bad people. He, he doesn't kill anyone. According to the movies, anyway, he doesn't kill anyone. He does severely injured. Mm. I feel like he has to be a Slytherin. He's trying to do good. Yeah. Slytherins aren't all bad. I understand. I understand you. <laughs> Mr. Rochester. Oh, from Jane Eyre. Mr. Rochester. Um. Because he's not the nicest man he's in the not. world. He also has a very messy past. He's also, I feel like he's not the worst. No. He's trying. <laughs> I don't want to put him in Slytherin. I'm not just gonna take mm. all like the villains and the bad people. We have we have standards. Okay. I just nothing. None of the houses leap out at me. Maybe he can be one of the teachers. <laughs> Say Slytherin. Fine, we'll take him in. But like, if he if he does anything, if he has another wife in the attic, right? We're gonna... <laughs> it's basically my dating policy. Just do you have anyone in your attic? No secret wives in the attic. <laughs> Tracy Beaker! Oh, Do you remember Tracy Beaker? I love Tracy Beaker! That was the best. Tracy Beaker by Jacqueline Wilson. Um, really great book. Great CBBC mm. series. I basically yeah. grew up with Tracy Beaker. Yeah. I love it. Okay, so Tracy Beaker. Okay, go. Tracy Beaker. Loudmouth, abrasive. But she does stay true to her heart, so I feel like she she's does. definitely a Gryffindor. And she's a daydreamer. She is. Mm. Oh, she'd be and creative. Her. Hufflepuff or Gryffindor? Mm. <clears throat> I don't think she's Hufflepuff because she's too abrasive. Yep. <laughs> Just the big personalities get shoved into Gryffindor. Yeah, I think she's a Gryffindor. I can see her. It's her colour as well. Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice. Ooh, that's an interesting one because she's so judgmental mm. in the beginning. So she's not Hufflepuff, is she? She's really smart. She reads books. But her name and Done. <laughs> Next one's gonna be a half puff, whoever it is. Like Yagami is going in half <laughs> From Death Note, are you sure? He has to be Slytherin. The Kira. No, oh, no he's 100% Slytherin. 100% he's so devious. He's so devious yeah. and smart and just wants to rule the world. He literally wants to be God. I mean, he's kind of coming from a good place, isn't he? He, he wants to get rid of the bad people. He went too far. That's the thing. That wasn't even planned. We L got L from, from Death, Death Note. Note. 
It's so pretty. The little it. Thing. I feel like he would be slippering as well. Because Light and L are mm. so similar. Or would he be a Ravenclaw? Because he's a thinker, isn't he? Yeah. What other personality traits go with Ravenclaw? Oh, because it's just like... It's like the brave, the evil, the smart, and the others. That's the houses. <laughs> the lovely, friendly people. Yeah, I'm discriminating Loyal. against Hufflepuffs. What? what? Yeah, what I, I, I just... Do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> and Christy was never seen again. I see I see her as a Ravenclaw. Because he's... Smart. Mm. He's smart. He doesn't... Does he kill people? No, because he works within the law. Mm. Like the government's hire him. I think he just really likes puzzles and big criminals are like ultimate puzzles for him. You know what? Let's put him in Ravenclaw. Yes. Just so Ravenclaw is delivering half a fight. The Joker. I think he'd be expelled in two seconds. <laughs> he wouldn't be in Hogwarts. No. Okay, little mini mini Joker. A small version of him walking into Hogwarts. Basically Tom Hogwarts. Riddle. Yes. Oh, take Can you imagine, right, the Joker and Light Yagami teaming up? Ah, that would be the most never. horrific thing in the world. There's Al. Al! Alphonse! Elric! Alphonse Elric! Yep. 100% Hufflepuff. He Adopt him. Take him in. Yes. To your house. Let him clank around in that metal armour. <laughs> So adorable. He's, Love L. Yeah, he's so sweet. Which one are you? Would you, are you? would you say you're an L or would you say you're Ed? I'm probably an L. <laughs> what about you? I think we all want to be Ed because he's the one who like yeah. takes action. But we're we're <laughs> we're not that smooth. Augustus from Tiffios. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. You've done like <laughs> One bracket. <laughs> no, no, don't judge me. No, <laughs> the shade. There's, the shade. there's one bracket, but the other one isn't there because she's just, stupid. I forget sometimes. Okay, I do it in text messages. Real stupid. Life. <laughs> Is he particularly smart? He's quite philosophical, a bit pretentious. Yeah, yeah, a bit pretentious. I feel like he's a little bit selfish. Yes, as well. So, yeah. Oh, I I see him as a Ravenclaw, just because of his smartness. Just because they're they're a bit smart doesn't mean they go into Ravenclaw. Yeah, but if you like, if you like, have a mind that likes puzzles and thinking about things, and that that's when when I want to push them into Ravenclaw. I think he's should be in Hufflepuff because he's a really good friend. I mean, when is it Isaac? Mm. His yeah, best friend. Um, something happens to him. <laughs> For shame, anyway. Yeah, I think. I think if you're in school, he's he's one of those people that everyone is drawn to, and is friends with everyone, and yeah. isn't horrible to anyone. Yeah, well, he was super popular in school. Yeah, but I don't reckon he was like horrible popular. Just, I reckon just he was popular. just nice to everyone. Yeah, that's why I see. I think he'd be a Hufflepuff. Yeah, take him in in the stack. I've got quite a good little. Mm -hmm. I would go to a tea party with these people. Just Al, oh, that's cruel. Al can't drink or eat. <laughs> Victor! Victor from Euro and I. <gasps> <laughs> Which house would he be in? He's very charming, very goofy, very talented, very egotistical. So we picked out a Victor, but the recording stopped. Uh, we can't leave Victor out. This is Victor from Yuri on Ice. Not yeah. a book character, but we love uh, Yuri on Ice too much to leave it out. <laughs> We love it so much. Like, Euro on Ice is life. He decided he's very ambitious, obviously. Mm -hmm. Very smooth, very yep. charming, very sure of himself. Mm -hmm. um, and fantastic silver hair. Yes. So he is Slytherin. The yes. first nice character in Slytherin. I know! This is going to be a great house, you know, the Joker, like Yagami, Victor, swanning around. I reckon Victor would get on quite well with them. Really? Iron Man. <laughs> he's a Slytherin. Really? Oh, no, maybe he's a Ravenclaw. No, yeah, no, definitely, because he's so intelligent. That's how yeah, he, he does so everything. he's so smart. Yeah, he has... He has no superpowers, but it's all built through his intelligence. I mean, he's not that good, really, is he? He's just... No. He's, oh, 
he does what is good. Yeah. But he... He does it for himself. Pretty much. I feel. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. And like, just like, oh, should I be anonymous? Nah. Nah. (laughs) I just want to be famous. (laughs) Even though he's like a multi-millionaire... Multi multi-millionaire. <laughs> a multi-millionaire celebrity. Still wants to be known as saver yeah. of the earth. But him. I feel like he has yeah. Slytherin traits. He'd he'd hop over to Slytherin every now and then for tea. <laughs> he'd he'd sneak his way in. No, he'd he'd break his way in. Let's be honest. He'd go over for a slice of evil pie. <laughs> oh, your socks! Oh, oh my, my god. god! Oh my god! Slytherin sock. And I've got a Gryffindor's book! Katniss Everdeen! <laughs> Voice. <laughs> Katniss Everdeen! Um, very good fighter, obviously. Doesn't actually. Brave. She's brave. To the, and she's loyal to the people she loves. Mm. But she's not really concerned it's in the first beginning anyway, with the greater good. She just wants yeah. to get by. And her family to get by. Yeah. I'm thinking Hufflepuff. Yeah. Any more traits as to why you get to adopt this lovely lady into your house? Her dedication to her family. True. She literally went into the Hunger Games to save her sister. Yeah. Yeah. And she is very good at finding things. (laughs) (laughs) It's the only trait I know. She literally finds food, like, all the time. (laughs) She's a hunter. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, you may take her. We've sorted all the characters into houses. Let us know if you agree. Definitely go check Yula out. Her links will be down below, and so will mine. And we'll probably make a video together at some point. Maybe on my channel again, maybe on yours. We'll definitely make another video at some point. Yeah, this was fun. Thanks for having me. No problem. <laughs> Alright, see you. Bye! Bye!